$26.3 million fighter jet with laser made by the world's best defense contractors. USA versus China. U.S. laser weapon versus Chinese sixth generation fighter jet. Who is stronger? The U.S. versus China trade war has been going on for quite some time now. Now there has been a little twist in the story, and it seems like China has been secretly gaining the upper hand because of one thing, laser weapons. For quite some time now, there have been various reports of Chinese attacks on U.S. vessels. In 2018, the U.S. military reported at least 20 incidents involving Chinese naval forces aiming lasers at American ships and aircraft. The favor was not replicated by the U.S. because it was controversial, but they were working towards it. The final straw happened in 2022 when a U.S. jet was damaged by a Chinese laser weapon. Then the U.S. went all in, creating its own laser weapons. Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin were all called into action for developing the next U.S. laser weapon. $26.3 million was on the table for a single laser weapon and three of the world's most prominent defense contractors were on the job. But it's not only the US that has been getting hit by China's lasers, Australia has too. This latest incident took place just 65 miles away from Australia's northern coast. And like every other previous complaint lodged, China denied the incident. But these denials are getting suspicious, with China heavily investing in laser weapons development and integration into fighter jets. Combine that with the numerous incidents and it's safe to say, China may be hiding something. This tough competition between US and China in developing airborne lasers is likely to be the next revolution in aerial warfare to shake up the world power status quo and change how wars are fought in the future. But how exactly are lasers going to change wars? Let's look at it. How lasers will change wars. Lasers can be seen as directed energy weapons. They are a form of light. In fact, the word laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. The invisible energy in the light, once concentrated enough and focused, can impact a target from miles away in the most invincible way possible. For one, lasers being light means they travel at the speed of light. The concept of a weapon that needs no ammunition and whose effects travel at the speed of light was once a dream for militaries, but could now finally be put to use. Laser weapons used to be a staple of science fiction, but not anymore. A laser shot attacks its target at the speed of approximately 300 million meters per second, the fastest known thing in the universe. As a result, no target could outrun it as can be done with missiles. This usually gives laser weapons a kill success rate of 100%. In order to exploit this precision lethality, laser weapons are designed to have unlimited magazines. This means that as long as a laser weapon is connected to power, it would in theory continue to autonomously aim and fire until all threats have been neutralized. Military armies could now become unstoppable with a weapon of this magnitude. These capabilities and more can change warfare as we know it. Pilots can now focus more on having the first shot from miles away because there is a high chance that the first shot would be a kill shot. This is why air forces around the world are prioritizing laser weapons on aircraft, as is the case with the US and NGAD. NGAD is the US effort toward fielding a next-generation family of systems that revolves around a new manned sixth-generation fighter. One of the weapons under NGAD is a unique weapon known as the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short. Lance, the laser weapon. The contract for the development of SHIELD was issued back in 2017 to three of the world's prominent defense contractors, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. SHIELD is a laser weapon that can be fitted onto fighter jets. It's a collaborative effort that brings together the three giants. Northrop Grumman would deliver the weapons beam control system. Boeing would deliver the sub-pod system that mounts other components from Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin to the aircraft's underside while Lockheed Martin would deliver the laser itself. 
This laser is known as LANCE, meaning Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. It's a high-energy laser weapon that can be carried by aircraft in potted form. Lockheed Martin delivered its LANCE high-energy laser weapon to the Air Force in February of 2022. The weapon was delivered to the Air Force Research Laboratory, which is charged with developing and integrating new technologies in the air, space, and cyberspace realms. Lockheed Martin received $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force for Lance. When describing the weapon, Tyler Griffin, a Lockheed executive, said, You can go ahead to drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this because it describes Lance so well. He further described Lance as the smallest, lightest, high-energy laser of its power class that Lockheed Martin has built to date. Griffin added that Lance is one-sixth the size of a previous directed energy weapon that Lockheed produced for the Army. As well as being notably small and light, Lance has reduced power requirements compared to other previous weapons. A key consideration for the fighter-based laser, especially one that could be mounted within the confines of a pod. All early signs point to Lance being the game-changer. At this stage, we don't know exactly what the aircraft Lance is intended to equip once it progresses to flight tests and hopefully airborne firing trials. However, Griffin said that a variety of potential applications and platforms are being considered for potential demonstrations and tests. Now, Lance is a weapon that contains various features from stealthy design to advanced internal weapons and everything in between. But how does it compare to near-peer adversaries like the 6th generation fighter? Chinese 6th generation fighter jet The Chinese are building a new 6th generation fighter jet which will be an upgrade to their current 5th generation fighter, the J-20 Mighty Dragon, which is already packed with a world of capabilities. The stealth jet employs a holistic approach to reduce its radar cross-section. It contains dual engines that thrust the J-20 to a maximum speed of Mark II a service ceiling of 66,000 feet and allow a maximum range of 3,400 miles with two external fuel tanks. That's just shy of the radius of the planet. An upgrade on such a weapon would be art. Art capable of destroying anything. The J-20 will be upgraded multiple times over and then integrated into China's sixth generation fighter. One of such upgrades would be the integration of laser weapons into the fighter. China has overall proven to have made significant progress in the development of laser weapons. Based on reported incidents by the US and Australia about China's constant fire at American and Australian aircraft, news of the unveiling of Lance will surely shake things up. And these incidents could increase in number if the solicitations on the Chinese government website bear fruit of airborne laser pods to be mounted on Chinese fighter jets such as the Shenyang J-15 Flying Shark and J-20 Mighty Dragon. However, with the American Shield now unveiled and closer than ever to launching on the NGAD fighter, Chinese forces now also have a laser weapon to be worried about. This could keep them in line and put an end to the constant laser bullying on American and Australian forces. But one thing is for sure. Warfare is about to change as we've never seen before, with the unveiling of more and more laser weapons. But with all these weapons, there is one weapon that you have in your arsenal and that is your power to subscribe to this channel. So kindly do that now and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.